dreams that 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 you you what you can do What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how um, you can escape and some certain escape routes in uh, this game here. So there's a bunch of boxes, barrels, crates, uh, different things around the map. You can find rope, you can find lock picks, you can find tape, you can find gunpowder, you can find a whole handful of things really to escape. And uh, as you can see, the first one here, you place the rope, you climb up the rope, and you can escape up and over the wall. Um, I'm not actually going to escape because I want to show you guys a few more of the spots. You found wood, you can craft something, so when you get a certain amount of items, um, specific items, you can craft them. And that's the cool thing. And when you craft something, um, yeah, I mean, you can use it to escape. Or it can be used as like a knife to stab the prison guards or things of that nature. Now these things are all around the map. I'm going to try to hit every location today to show you guys. And sometimes they... Um, they only have specific things in them. I'm not really sure. I think they have to be taken and then a new thing spawns in. I think it's randomized. So like if you already have a lock pick, you can't take a lock pick again. So you you can like you can only have specific things in your inventory and they don't reset like on the box and you can't take two of them. So sometimes you're not going to be able to find every single item that's in this game unless other players are in your lobby taking them to um regenerate the thing and then you get to use it again and it can spawn something different but I mean like for me I'm the only person except one other in this game so when I search something like if he doesn't come and search it it's not going to be anything but this is where you use the lock pick by the way and then how you use the lock pick you open this you go down here you open the vault and then you escape hold E to open it and then uh, yeah you open it this guy's asking what's that ticks dominus <laughs> But now you can't escape, so I have to reset here because we don't. I don't think we have two lock picks, so we have to uh, reset. But uh, that's this place you go, and then you literally just climb down and you open up another. You open up another thing, and you're pretty much just yeah. I mean, you're literally escaping right there. It's super easy. We already got this one. Let me see if I can search it again and grab something different. You found rope. All right, so we got rope, so I can show you the other, um, the other thing here. I'll show you the other thing in just a second. The other escape route. Now we're going to go in here and search this barrel. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Barrel. I'm trying to get a spoon so I can show you how to dig out. Get another lock pick though. Let's see. Let's go over here. There's one more in here. One more in here. Uh, search. You found a lock pick. Whoa, we found a lock pick. Yo, my, uh, my, my man, Endless Fun's in here. He's an admin. <laughs> He's an admin. All right, and there's two in here. Let's hit search. Come on, give me a spoon. Man, metal's also used to craft a knife, by the way. So, just letting you guys know that. Do we have a spoon? Hey, we got a spoon. Okay, cool. So now I can show you guys the spoon. Let me make sure that there's not something else in here. I found tape. Crafting knife. See, that gave me a knife. That is also to, like, stab the guards. Slash, slash. Hash slinging slasher. As you know. As you know. So here, you place the rope. Boom. You can climb up and go out. Like so, up and over the wall. Um, yeah, just like that. And then over here, let's go use the spoon, you guys. I'm going to go use the spoon and show you. I will show you how to use the spoon. And there's other things you can get here to escape. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that they have to respawn. And I don't have people in here opening the other crates to respawn. But I'll show you another spot before I end the video that you can actually escape out of. So you dig this all the way down, like so. You then crouch and boom, you can escape out that way just like that. So I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty simple, but you know, it was, uh, you know, I don't think people would find it out on their own. Is what I'm trying to say. So here, when you have dynamite, explosives, you have to have C4, gunpowder, and stuff, and uh, boom, that blows up. You can escape out that way. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out in any witty in any way, I'm just in any video because I read videos up in the top left corner. My friend uh, said, but guys, thank you for watching. If you give this video a thumbs up, if this helped you, uh, or if you guys enjoyed it, you know, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to subscribe, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.